at his heart. He was just a good wholehearted person who wanted to help everybody. Lynn Bryan's family is coping with a big loss. They say he died from COVID-19 on March 14th. You know, he was, he was just always full of laughter. Oregon state health officials aren't releasing the names of people who died from COVID-19, just their ages and where they died. We spoke with Brian's nephew, brother, and sister-in-law. They say he was diagnosed with the coronavirus at the Portland Veterans Affairs Medical Center, where things escalated fast. They never got to say goodbye. The hardest thing for all of us was not ever being able to see him again and to say I love you to him and, and to talk to him. He was playing cards and came home and wasn't feeling good. He'd already been moved to the ICU and was on a ventilator. And so because of that, with the tube down his throat, they had to put him in a medically induced coma. They say his heart and other health problems made the situation worse. And in just one week, Brian was gone. So it's, it's a huge hole in our hearts. But Brian's life was a memorable one, filled with joy. He, he loved dance. Uh, that was one of his biggest loves. He was a big proponent of just dance. Brian was a constant in Portland's country western dance scene. I always wore a cowboy hat when he was around the horses and dancing. Before Lynn's love of dance, his first passion and love was horses. It was a life well spent. Just a glowing bright light of fun and joy. A life well loved. He's just my brother, you know, we're going to miss him. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News. And our deepest sympathies to Lynn Bryan's family.